Hi, I'm Heather Dawson, and it's a pleasure bringing you the best of California every week on our show. So let's start off with a trip to Mammoth Mountain with David Wiley. Here's more. In the eastern Sierra Nevadas along Highway 395 lies a jewel known as the City of Mammoth Lakes, a four-season mountain paradise. And while many think Mammoth Lakes got its name from the woolly mammoth, the truth is it was part of an early marketing scheme. When gold was found in the 1870s, they named it the Mammoth Mining Company to give the impression of mammoth riches. And while no abundance of gold was ever found, the name stuck. Today, mammoth refers to the sheer size of the vast wilderness and all the recreational activities that are available. The original inhabitants of Mammoth Lakes were the Paiute and Shoshone Indians. The settlers abandoned the area after the first few years of failed attempts at mining. It wasn't until the late 1920s and the advent of roads that people started coming back to Mammoth. Today, Mammoth gets roughly the same amount of summer and winter visitors every year. Summer activities include things like hiking and fishing. While during winter months, Mammoth averages more than 350 inches of snow and is home to world-class skiing. And one thing you can marvel about any time of the year is the geological wonders in the area. To learn more about the region, you can visit the Interpretive Center at the summit of Mammoth Mountain. It's no wonder Mammoth is a favorite getaway for Californians all over the state who enjoy the scenic drive to the resort or prefer to fly in to Mammoth Airport. With a full-time population of just over 8,000 residents, modern Mammoth Lakes can hardly be called the big city, but that doesn't stop it from being a booming resort community with fine dining, great lodging, shopping, and recreation that rivals Aspen and Vail. One of the most appealing things about Mammoth Lakes is how it has kept the charm that has attracted people for years, while also expanding into one of the West Coast's biggest destination spots. This could be one of the reasons why Mammoth real estate is in such high demand. In fact, 60% of homes in Mammoth are second homes. And if full-time ownership is not for you, Mammoth has a variety of rental properties available. In the end, the beauty of Mammoth Lakes lies not just in the incredible scenery, but in fantastic outdoor activities and top-notch lodging and restaurants that comfortably blend the new Mammoth with the old. From Mammoth Lakes, I'm David Wiley for California Life. Who doesn't love a great summertime get-together with family and friends? While many people love to unwind with their favorite beer or a margarita, those drinks are loaded with sugar and carbs. That's what prompted Adam Croner and his wife Amanda, while on a low-carb, low-calorie diet, to create flavorful cocktails with an appealing nutrition panel. With that, Carbless was born, a handcrafted, ready-to-drink cocktail that has no sugar or carbs and is big on flavor. We were looking for something flavorful that was low carb, low sugar, and we were taking our vodka, ingredients, ice everywhere, and couldn't find what we were making out on the market. It was full of flavor, but great nutrition panel. So uh, eventually we decided to put it in a can and share it with everybody else. So from their own backyard, Adam and Amanda managed to create a guilt-free cocktail to fit their lifestyle. Carbless is very versatile. It tastes great straight out of the can. You can put it in a glass with ice. Our product is zero carb, it's zero sugar, gluten-free, and they're all only 100 calories at 5% ABV. You can take our different flavors and mix them together to make your own creation. Or if you go to our website, we have a lot of really fun recipes that you would normally see in a bar, but using Carbless, you're able to have our same nutrition panel. And that's what makes Carbless so unique compared to other beverages on the market today. Currently out on the market, there's really two main types of drinks. There's gonna be full flavored ones, and that comes usually with two, three, 400 uh, calories, 20, 30, 40 grams of carbs and sugar, or there are uh, the traditional seltzers, which are gonna be lower carbon sugar, not very flavorful, and super carbonated. Uh, at the end of the day, we combine the concepts of those two. And so we made bar-inspired cocktails with that full flavor nutrition panel, little carbonation, just like at the bar, um, but they're all zero carbs, zero sugar, 100 calories, and gluten-free. 
And making your own custom cocktail with Carbless is so easy. I'm going to show you how easy and convenient that it really is to drink Carbless. So first I'm going to add some ice to my glass. And then I'm going to take the lemon lime Carbless and the cranberry Carbless and mix them together 50-50. Mixing that berry and then citrus creates that cherry limeade flavor. If you add a fruit wedge, it's that easy and you have your mixed cocktail. If carb and sugar-free cocktails sound appealing to you, you can find Carbless online. Check out drinkcarbless.com and click buy now and we'll ship it directly to your door. Bringing you the best of California, I'm David Wiley for California Life. A 1970 Plymouth Hemi Superbird sold for $1.65 million at the Barrett-Jackson auction this year. California Life's Jason Residlo takes us to Las Vegas. Hey guys, Jason Residlo reporting from the Las Vegas Convention Center for the 2023 Barrett-Jackson auctions. Come along with me as I check out some of the cool cars, trucks, SUVs, and motorcycles. Over 500 vehicles will cross the auction block over three days. Most of them will be sold to the highest bidder with no reserve price. Barrett Jackson sells stock cars, customs, and modifieds too. Here are some of the most popular cars being auctioned off. Lot 702, a 1972 Daytomaso Pantera, featured in the movie Fast Five. It was used during the iconic train heist scene. The movie car will be auctioned on Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Lot 761, a 1961 Chevy Corvette custom convertible. It is equipped with the modern 6.2 liter supercharged V8 engine producing 650 horsepower. On the inside, there's an Alpine sound system with Bluetooth capability. I try to come every year. I'm a car guy. I love cars. Uh, I love finding like cars that I used to own that are now selling for a lot of money. <laughs> and I, I get to dream. I try not to drool, but I do dream. I'm, I'm the car guy. He just likes to look. I'm, I'm a looker, but I had one of these when I was a teenager, so you know, it takes me back. Yeah. Good memories. Dodge and Toyota offer thrill rides on a closed course outside the convention center. Attendees just need to sign a waiver before riding. Lucid showed off their 2023 electric vehicle. Attendees had the chance to ride in them too. His dad bought a car last auction actually and you see it on TV, right, and it doesn't seem too much, but when you're in there, sitting in the seats, raising your hand and stuff, oh, you get a, such an adrenaline rush and so caught up in the moment. Oh, it's great. It's great, yeah. It's super exciting, super exciting, yeah. Each morning kicks off with an automobilia auction. This includes everything from antique signs to gas pumps, gumball machines, and this Coca-Cola fountain. Check out this neon sign from the Las Vegas Club Casino. It was featured in the filming of The Hangover Part 3. This limousine is a full-size electric car featured in all-stock original stylish interior powered by the four-liter inline six-cylinder engine. You can watch the Barrett-Jackson auction live on FYI and History Channels. Check your local listings for the channel number. Bringing you the best of California from the 2023 Barrett-Jackson Auction in Las Vegas, I'm Jason Residlo for California Life. I definitely feel Rob Marshall was by far the most ideal director to do this because 
He is such a visionary. He's so passionate and he's also a very meticulous perfectionist. And I think that that's something beautiful when a creative who has such vision is able to articulate exactly what they see and what they want for a film. And ultimately, that makes a great director who can give direction in that way and, and show you and tell you what uh, the vision is supposed to be. Because he has a great eye for talent, because he's talented himself, you know, like Jonas said earlier, they're dancers, they grew up in this creative musical world and know exactly what's great and what's not. And I feel like Rob was able to uh, put together a beautiful cast because of, of that vision that he's had for so long. I mean. I can't imagine anybody else doing it. I, I totally, I, I cannot, I can't even fathom it. Because they both are choreographers. They have the music, the rhythm, the beats inside of them. They are great directors. They know how to treat an actor. They are, their directions are so spot on. But this movie need, need a huge choreography for us to be able to move and to dance with each other under the water in every moment. And they knew how to do that, like, like that easy. And it's all in this like soft, loving little cushion. It's like yes. Rob Marshall and John come in and it literally is just like everything suddenly is like, oh, it's gonna be fine. Yes. This is gonna be lovely. Like, is it a long day of rehearsals? But you're like, but it's so fun. And they have all these incredible people supporting you and their ideas are so good. And they've prepared and thought everything through and at the same time are still so completely always open to a new idea. Or what if this happens? And they're like, yes, what if? Let's let's look at that. It's just possibly the best work environment. I mean, I want the world to work like they're set. Absolutely. The rehearsal process was unlike anything I'd experienced before. Rob and John, the, the director and producer, they're dancers originally, and they're choreographers, and they come from the theater world. And I think you really felt that, because we had so much time to rehearse, to workshop the script, to really understand who these characters are. And that was great, because on a film of this size, there's a lot of stuff going on around you. It's a huge scale, there's a huge circus when you're filming the scenes. And so that rehearsal process meant that we could really dig into who the people are and really understand their emotional journey so that when all of that crazy stuff was happening around us we could rely on that and be grounded by that and then of course there was all the, the training aspect as well which you had probably the most of <laughs> of all which uh, included horse riding training and, and scuba diving training and gym training dog training yeah. well, a lot of training, training. <laughs> uh, but it was it was unique and and I think set us up really well for filming that it will be translated when we play with each other. And that's the common ground where every rehearsal must stand on to create a bond between the partners, the people that you work with, and it happened. I can't even explain how important it was that we got to do all of that rehearsal. I think because they come from the theater and they're, they're originally performers themselves, and taking that time to know how important that is to get to build it and build it together as a company and not just all individuals coming in to do what they do. We were coming in to all put our heads together and make this one piece. And and I think, I mean, I really felt the difference from that. They will have a lot of joy. They will experience a lot of love because there's a lot of love in this movie in, the, in, in many ways, in the singing, in the choreography, in the photography, in the performances, in, in the lyrics. But I would say they will come out with a good idea of what true love is, meaning, if you love someone, you have to let that person be become what she or he wants uh, besides your own desires or wishes because that's what life is about, about respecting each other. I mean, something that's so relevant now is that when you, when you look at something or someone that you don't know, that you don't have to fear it. You don't have to be afraid of it. You can be curious about it. You can, you can say how wonderful, like look at how different we are and and learn from it and, and find all these new wonderful things. I think that is a, a huge thing that the world needs right now. Back in the spotlight, rapper, singer, songwriter, Florida has been labeled an outrageous deadbeat dad worth millions. Florida um, has never met his son. His son is six years old. Uh, his name is Zohar. Zohar has some very acute challenges. He's autistic. He also recently had a catastrophic injury. He fractured his hip bone and had a liver laceration, and he really needs a lot of care. 
um, both for his autism and for his injury. This New York divorce trial lawyer represents Zohar and his mother, Alexis Adams. In 2018, Tramar Dillard, a.k.a. Florida, was court-ordered to pay child support, 100% of medical expenses and 100% of education for his son. The big question is, why can he get away with being a deadbeat dad? His son Zohar was born with a neurological disorder and requires intensive care, along with extensive rehab, while Florida takes credit for providing, quote, the best medical care, even though he allowed basic medical insurance for Zohar to lapse. Apparently, he also stopped paying his son's tuition, forcing his mother to ask the Department of Education to cover the cost. Flo Rida has been ordered to pay child support and medical care. Um, the medical care has been a problem, and obviously he has the resources to do it. This is not an uncommon problem where um, parents, frankly, it's typically the father, uh, uh, do have children and don't step up to pay child support. But when these obligations are memorialized in a court order, then the order can be enforced in the form of a contempt application. And the remedies for somebody who's in contempt of a child support application are quite severe, including incarceration. So, you know, that is something that has teeth, obviously, and um, that is something that people who are owed money in the form of child support should think about pursuing. Unfortunately, the angry and frustrated mother also suggested that Florida may be manipulating his financial information to avoid his responsibilities. Florida has reportedly stated that her requests are ridiculous as he insisted they were never a couple to begin with and this was not his son. According to the boy's mother, Florida has never met or even looked at his son, even though during the paternity test, they were in the same room. Sources say that Florida was blindsided by Adams after she took him to court, requesting that the judge order him to pay even more, and they both reportedly agreed on the amount he is currently paying. But while he's been making payments, she still doesn't believe it's enough to support herself and her son under the circumstances. You can't get a court order for mediation because you're not in court. However, what you can do is take your mediation agreement, which, which um, if it's in furtherance of a divorce, you can submit the agreement with a court. You don't go to court. You just submit it to the court with a judgment of divorce, which is a legal document that basically says you're divorced. That judgment is a court order that's enforceable. So ultimately you can, the, the agreement in and of itself is not an order, but you can convert it into an order later on. Now the courts can't force people to work. You can't, you can't order somebody to work. So what is typically done is you get the person who's under earning to undergo a vocational assessment by a vocational expert. And these are people that are trained in assessing people's employability. So if you have a party who is under earning and that person gets evaluated by a vocational expert, the expert will review their work history and their qualifications and their educational history. The boy's mother also revealed while Florida is out reportedly visiting sick children in hospitals and creating initiatives for more COVID-19 testing sites, his own child is allegedly suffering. Various news outlets have come to his defense, stating that the rapper is not a deadbeat dad and has continued to fulfill his obligations. Great new resource for divorce is the exit.com. It's basically the web MD for divorce. Reporting for California Life HD, this is Gigi Copes. There is no shortage of places on the internet for people looking to start relationships. But when it comes to ending one, it's been a different story until now. The Exit is the place to go when it's time to leave. It's a new website that will help you be the most informed that you can be entering a situation where separation or divorce is your best and smartest option. 
If you are one of the millions of people uncoupling and dealing with all of the challenges that go with it, hiring a lawyer, child support, alimony, mental health, property division, banking, visitation, dating, agreements, insurance, real estate, self-improvement, you've come to the right place. The exit will get you on your way to a better, healthier, and most importantly, happier you. After all, everyone needs a great exit, and we're here to assist you with yours. While separation and divorce are never easy, The Exit is here to help answer questions and solve problems that you not only want, but need answered. Open to all, The Exit will provide you with comprehensive resources to help make the end of your relationship a more manageable process and positive experience. Be part of the journey as we put community and support at the heart of separation and divorce. Join us at The Exit where we hope to help reposition your breakup into an opportunity for a fresh start and a better tomorrow. And that's it for us. If you missed any part of our show, please go to our website, californialifehd.com. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, Facebook, and please follow us on Twitter. I'm your host, Heather Dawson. We'll see you next time. Watch us on our YouTube channel. Stay connected to our social media, like our blogs on Facebook. Follow our tweets on Twitter. And check out our posts on Instagram and Pinterest, where we bring you...